Hey guys, what is up? Flyers Sam 93 here. Finally, the Flyers have re-signed Travis Konechny to a six-year, $5.5 million deal, which is pretty similar to Ivan Provorov's deal. Uh, Provorov signed six years, 6.75, and yesterday when we talked on the second episode of the podcast, I was thinking it had to be somewhere close to Provorov, which is why Konechny won a long-term, and the Flyers didn't have the money for long-term. Flyers only had 6.7 in cap space before signing Konechny. They now have 1.2. Um, so, at the end of this season, uh, the, they should be getting some cap space back. I'll talk about that in a minute, but I would just want to talk about my opinion and some things about this deal. So, first, a lot of things happened during training camp. Uh, there was a lot of talk going around, you know, that guys, you know, are able to take his, take connecting spot. Uh, when I talked, um, to Sam Carcitti in the video I did, I, I asked him, uh, if Konechny does not sign, who do you think will take his spot? Uh, he did mention a lot of guys, but he did also say that he thinks Konechny will be, you know, back before the season starts, and he was right. Uh, Konechny did sign. So, Konechny did miss training camp. He missed all of training camp, along with Pitlick and Patrick, who were both injured. At least now, is able to come into the preseason. He can get used to the new coaches, things like that. And now he won't be as, uh, you know... I guess out of shape, sort of, sort of say, with um, you know getting getting used to it and things like that. Because if you saw what William Nylander did, he waited last year until the last possible minute to sign a contract, and then he didn't really do much. So at least now, Connect is able to come in, play a few games that don't matter, and then he can you know start to play his normal way in the regular season. And now he will be in his regular season form. So. Going back to the cap space, uh, the Flyers, they should be getting back a million. They should be, get, yeah, they should get a million back from the Gudis trade when they uh, retained 30% of his salary uh, when they got Matt Niskin in. If they don't sign Tyler Pitlick and Brian Elliott, they'll get a million from Pitlick and two million from Elliott. I don't know what they're going to do there, but that's next season's uh, RFAs because I, I cannot talk about RFAs and UFAs again this offseason. It was just so drawn out. Uh, especially with Mitch Marner and all the, and all these other guys that are still waiting. You got Line, you got Connor, you got Ranton, and there's a lot of guys. So my opinion, I think it's a little bit, it's a little bit over what I expected, but I do like this deal. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you guys soon.